Hello and welcome back to Metal Gear Solid The Twin Snakes. Alrighty, we've got to go do the thing we need to do with the power key. The power key being the key that changes shape depending on what we uh, have it either room temperature or cold or hot. And that's awesome. Or ordinarily I'd say it's awesome, but we actually have to go to an area that's hot or cold unless we do something a bit sneaky. I don't know if I can show you the sneakiness from here. I might be able to. Hold on. Because in the original game, the PlayStation 1, you have to run all the way to cold storage and back again. However, in this one, and and then the furnace, respectively. However, in this one, see those pipes? Mm -hmm. That is what we can use to help us out here. And it makes this entire section that much easier. Like, seriously, it's ridiculous. So, first of all, we need to get rid of the cameras. Because since there's no one else in here, we don't need to worry about that. Pow key, pow key, pow key. There we go. Beep. I keep wanting to push triangle. It's really upsetting me. Like, if I ever do Metal Gear Solid 2 or 3, on the channel, I'm gonna have to relearn all the buttons again, and it's gonna drive me bananas. Like triangle is how to get things open. It's just, it's just natural. I really wish there was proper PC releases of these. I mean, I mean that didn't suck. I mean, Metal Gear Solid One has a PC release, but it's terrible. I think Two does as well. I'm not sure how well that one is. Thanks. Oh, that's such a satisfying like okay. push of that the key. Takes care of pal code number one. Now, pal number two, freeze the key. I miss David Hater as Snake, and hearing him come back as Bomberman uh, in Bomberman, sorry, is absolutely amazing. He plays some um, Naked Snake and Solid Snake in Bomberman R for the Switch and stuff. It's so good, and of course, hearing him in um, uh, I just realised these guys didn't come back, aren't they? And hearing him in there we go. Uh. Huh? Blech. The other guy should be over there, that's fine. Uh, and hearing him in um, Bloodstained recently as well as Ngatsu is super cool. He's really putting a lot of effort into it. I, I kind of miss him as a voice actor, he's one of my favourites. Love it. Right, let's have a look. Ah, our friend's over there. Okay. Oh. Awkward. Okay, let's go. Uh. Everyone's back asleep, though it really can't be good for them. Now, this is a bit tricky. I'm going to try not to fall off and die, because we actually have to get this at a correct, the correct angle. So we drop off here. We shimmy along. Push triangle to drop, and then... There we go. And then we shimmy back up. Whoop! Okay, so we need to freeze the key. So we take the power key. This is stupid, by the way. Don't do this at home. Now we can drop off. Yeah. <coughs> Yeah, it hurts a little bit, but it's seriously, it's safe to walking around. And that's another one of the power keys done. I think you get like five minutes to run back when your power key's changed. And you can kind of see what we do with the heat one. Same thing. Seriously, this saves must be about 20 minutes, maybe half an hour of running around pointlessly. It's super nice. Do, 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 do. And of course, we have a ration to heal us, so we'll just quickly do that as well. Power key. I hope the cameras don't come back every time, that'd be obnoxious. Good. And then number two, Palky. Look how efficient this is. Well, two down, one to go. Pal code number two confirmed. Awaiting pal code number three. Okay, there goes pal code number two. Next comes pal number three. Warm the key. If only there was some way we could warm the key. Oh wait, luckily we have. So let's swap back out to the uh, the trank darts because these losers are going to be back alive again. Seriously, this this is gonna give them like brain damage or something. Oh no, they're not. Oh, okay, scratch that. I actually thought they would still be snoozing. Uh, not be snoozing. I know what I'm talking about. Don't question me. Right. We're gonna take our lovely cold power key and go ruin it, and make it a lovely warm power key. Shank snake can't just I don't know sit on it for a bit or something. There we go. I need to shimmy over a little bit probably. And we're going to drop here. Perfect. 
Excellent. And warm the key. Ah, steam! Ow. I mean, you'd think stop hot steam would hurt more than that, but whatever. Hey. Snake, it's about Naomi Hunter. Then you should talk to the Colonel. He's looking into it. Turn your monitor off. Okay, it's off. No one else can hear us. Go ahead. Sorry, but I didn't want the Colonel to hear. Okay, so what's up? I've got a good friend in the Pentagon. Yeah? He's the one who told me about it. It looks like the DIA recently developed a new type of assassination weapon. An assassination weapon? Snake, have you ever heard of something called Fox Dye? No. Fox Dye? Liquid and the others were talking about it. Yeah. It's some kind of virus that targets specific people. I don't know all the details, but... What are you trying to say? It's too similar. What is? The cause of death. Didn't the arms tech president and the DARPA chief, I mean decoy octopus, die of something that looked like a heart attack? Yeah. Well, apparently Fox Die kills its victims by simulating a heart attack. No. You're telling me that Naomi was behind it? Snake, try to remember. Did Naomi give you some kind of injection? The nanomachines? She was in the best position to have done it, but I don't know what her motive was. Does the Colonel know? I'm not sure, but he still hasn't questioned her. Okay, I'll ask him myself. Colonel, what's new with the Naomi situation? I just placed Naomi under arrest. Arrest? She was sending coded messages toward the Alaskan base. I didn't want to believe it, but she must be working with the terrorists. Are you sure? I'm afraid so. She's being interrogated now. What kind of interrogation? Well, I'd like to avoid the rough stuff, but we don't even have any sodium pentothal here. Call me if you find out anything. So, it's true, isn't it? Naomi, I can't believe it. That means the Fox Dye vaccine must be around somewhere. Is that all you think about? But Snake, you might be infected too, you know. All I can do is leave it up to the Colonel. Fox Dye? That sounds worrying. Naomi arrested? Hmm. Something seems fishy. Well, anyway, we got the last power key, so let's go and turn this monster off for good and be done with it. What now? Snake. Can you hear me? It's Naomi. Hey. Naomi? What the hell? Campbell and the others are busy right now. I'm on a different codec. Naomi, is what the Colonel says true? Yes, but not everything I said was a lie. Who are you? I don't know anything. My parents' face is my name. The name and ID I have now I just bought. But the reason why I study genetics, that was true. Because you want to know yourself, right? That's right. I want to know where I came from. My age, my race, anything. Naomi. I was found in Rhodesia sometime in the 80s. A dirty little orphan. Rhodesia? What's now known as Zimbabwe? Yes. Rhodesia was owned by England until 1965, and there were lots of Indian laborers around. That's probably where I got my skin color from, but I'm not even sure about that. Naomi, you're too worried about the past. Isn't it enough to understand who you are now? Understand who I am now? Why should I? No one else tries to understand me. I was alone for so long. Until I met my big brother. And him. Your big brother? Yes. Frank Yeager. What? He was a young soldier when he picked me up near the Zambezi River. I was half dead from starvation, and he shared his rations with me. Yes. Frank Yeager. The man who you destroyed was my brother and my only family. No. Gray Fox. We survived that hell together, Frank and I. He protected me. He is everything to me. The only proof I have of my existence. Of my existence as an individual. And he brought you back to America? No. I was in Mozambique when he came. Who is he? You mean Big Boss? Yes. He brought us to this land of freedom. This America. 
but then he and my brother went back to continue the war. And that's when it happened. You killed my benefactor and sent my brother home a cripple. I vowed revenge and joined Foxhound. I knew it was my best chance to meet you, and I prayed for the day that I would. So, were your prayers answered? Yes. I waited two long years. To kill me? Is that all you cared about? Yes, that's right. Two years. You were all I thought about for two long years. <laughs> like some kind of twisted obsession. Do you still hate me? Not exactly. I was partly wrong about you. What about Liquid and the others? I'll have my revenge on them, too. Naomi, you didn't kill that doctor, too, did you? The one that used Gray Fox for his genome experiments. Dr. Clark? No. That was my brother. Afterward, I covered it up and helped him hide out. So that ninja, I mean Gray Fox, he's come here to kill me. I don't think so. I think he just came here to fight you. I wasn't sure before, but now I think I understand. A final battle with you. That's all he lives for. I'm sure of it. Fox. Naomi, tell me something. About fox dye? Fox dye is a type of retrovirus that targets and kills only specific people. First, it infects the macrophages in the victim's body. Fox dye contains smart enzymes, created through protein engineering. They're programmed to respond to specific genetic patterns in the cells. Those enzymes recognize the target's DNA? Right. They respond by becoming active and using the macrophages. They begin creating TNF Epsilon. Huh? It's a type of cytokine, a peptide which causes cells to die. The TNF Epsilon is carried along the bloodstream to the heart, where they attach to the TNF receptors in the heart cells. And then, they cause a heart attack. The heart cells suffer a shock and undergo an extreme apoptosis. Then, the victim dies. Apoptosis? You mean the heart cells commit suicide, Naomi? What? You must have programmed that thing to kill me too, right? Do I still have time? Naomi, I don't blame you for wanting me dead, but I can't go yet. I still have a job to do. Listen, Snake. I'm not the one who made the decision to use Fox Die. Huh? You weren't? No. You were injected with Fox Die as a part of this operation. I just wanted to let you know that... No. That's not the whole truth. Huh? The real thing that I wanted to tell you was, Snake... Hey! What are you doing? <sighs> Snake. Naomi? Snake, I can't allow Naomi to make any more unauthorized transmissions. What? Naomi's been removed from this operation. What happened to Naomi? What did she mean when she said that Fox Die was a part of this operation? Colonel, let me talk to her. I won't. She's under arrest. Colonel, you double-crossed me. Snake, there's no time for that. Right now, your job is to stop Metal Gear. Okay, Snake? Colonel, you card. Fine. We'll stop Metal Gear. Then we'll have a nice little chat with the Colonel, I think. Last key. Here we go. Beep. Good, all sorted. Detonation code activated. What? Ready for launch. Uh oh. No. Why? They lied to us. 
We just armed the nuclear tank. I deactivated it. Thank you, Snake. Danke, Snake! Now the detonation code is completed. Nothing can stop Metal Gear now. Master, what's going on? You found the key, and even activated the warhead for us, too. I really must express my gratitude. Sorry to have involved you in that silly shape memory alloy business. What are you talking about? We weren't able to learn the DARPA chief's code. Even with Mantis' psychic powers, he couldn't read his mind. Then Ocelot accidentally killed him during the interrogation. In other words, we weren't able to launch the nuclear device and we were all getting a little worried. Without the threat of a nuclear strike, our demands would never be met. What do you mean? Without the detonation codes, we had to find some other way. That's when I decided you might prove useful, Snake. What? Well, for starters, I had Decoy Octopus disguise himself as the DARPA chief. We thought we'd get the info from you, but there was Fox Die. You mean you had this plan from the beginning? Just to get me to input the detonation code? <laughs> you didn't think you made it this far by yourself, did you? Who the hell are you? In any case, the launch preparations are complete. Once the world glimpses the power of this weapon, the White House will have no choice but to surrender the Fox Die vaccine to me. Their ace in the hole is useless now. Ace in the hole? The Pentagon's plan to use you was already successful in the torture room. <laughs> Snake, you're the only one who doesn't know. Poor fool. Who are you, anyway? I'll tell you everything you want to know. If you come to where I am, that is. Where are you? Very close by. Snake, that's not Master Miller. Campbell, you're too late. Master Miller's body was just discovered at his home. He's been dead for at least three days. I didn't know because my codec link with Master was cut off. But Mei Ling said his transmission signal was coming from inside the base. So who is it? Snake, you've been talking to... Me, dear brother. Liquid! How the... You've served your purpose? You may die now. What a shock! It looked nothing like him! Ah, wait, what? Hello, Snake! Well, that's bad. Well, first of all, we probably need to get our gas mask on. Well, this is not ideal. Is there any way out of here? Probably can't shoot the glass. It's bulletproof. Well, this ain't working. I completely forgot how to get out of the room. Wait. How do I get out of the room? Colonel! The less you maneuver a remote-controlled missile, the faster it will fly. Remember this if you want to fire the missile over a greater distance. That's not helpful. Snake, gas, do something. Snake, call Emmerich. He should be able to break through security. Right. How? Snake, that's bulletproof glass. You can't break it with an ordinary weapon. Can't you open the security lock here? I'll try. Just hold on for a minute. Bogus. Right. This could be bad. Should have probably called Hal straight away. I hacked into security. Snake, I'm opening the door. Phew, that was close. What's 
Seriously, who has all this friggin' gas set up everywhere? <gasps> Naked man. Who is it? Liquid! Snake, did you like my sunglasses? No, they were oh, stupid. You'd point a weapon at your own brother? Why did you disguise yourself as master? So I could manipulate you more easily. You didn't even look like him. You performed quite well, I must say. Oh, actually, maybe a little bit. <sighs> Although the boys at the Pentagon are probably saying the same thing. What the hell are you talking about? Following orders blindly with no questions asked? You've lost your warrior's pride and become nothing more than a pawn, Snake. What? Stopping the nuclear launch? Rescuing the hostages? It was all just a diversion. A diversion? The Pentagon only needed you to come into contact with us. That's what killed the arms tech president and decoy octopus. You don't mean... That's right. You were sent here to kill us, so they could retrieve Metal Gear undamaged along with bodies of the genome soldiers. From the beginning, the Pentagon was just using you as a vector to spread fox dye. Fox dye? It can't be. Are you telling me Naomi was working with the Pentagon? They thought she was, but it seems that Dr. Naomi Hunter couldn't be controlled so easily. What? We've got a spy working in the Pentagon. He reported that Dr. Hunter altered Fox Dye's program just before the operation, but no one knows how or why. I wonder. Maybe they arrested her so they could find out the answer to that. No doubt. But I had no idea she was motivated by such petty revenge. We still don't know what changes she made to Fox Dye's program. Oh well, doesn't matter. I've already added the Fox Dye vaccine to my list of White House demands. There's a vaccine? There must be. But that woman is the only one who really knows. Anyway, it might prove to be unnecessary. Yeah, why is that? You were successful in coming into contact with all of us, so we must have all been exposed to the virus. It's true that the arms tech president and decoy octopus were killed by fox dye. But Ocelot, myself, and you, the carrier, were apparently unaffected. A bug in the virus's programming? Hmm, could be. In any case, if it doesn't kill you, then I'm not worried either. After all, our genetic code is identical. So it's true. You and I are... Why do you keep doing that? It's so unnecessary. Stop flipping around on things. Yes, twins. But we're not ordinary twins. We're twins linked by cursed genes. Les enfants terribles! You're fine. You got all of the old man's dominant genes. I got all the flawed, recessive genes. That's not how genetics Everything works. Everything was done so that you would be the greatest of his children. The only reason I exist is so they could create you. So you're saying I'm the dominant one? That's right. I'm just the leftovers of what they use to make you. Can you understand what it's like to know that you're garbage since the day you were born? <laughs> but I'm the one father chose. So that's why you're so obsessed with Big Boss. Some warped kind of love. Ha! Love? It's hate. He's choosing me, knowingly, to be the inferior one? For this, I want revenge! You don't even understand this! You, who could kill your own real father! You stole my chance for revenge! Now I'll finish the work that father began! I will surpass him! I will destroy him! You're just like Naomi. Well, I'm not like you. 
Unlike you, I'm proud of the destiny that is encoded into my very genes. Should probably shoot him before he gets in there. Uh. You missed your last chance. No, he didn't. You regret that forever. Keep shooting him. Keep shooting. Damn! All those opportunities, I had to shoot him. I know. Rockets. We should probably do something about this, right? Metal Gear's bad. Right, first thing then. We need to get some shaft going because we do not want to get hit by that thing. And then... Uh, we'll wait for a second. Once that's out... Okay. Uh, mostly just sting at work. We want to hit that... I want to hit the dish, preferably. If we keep on the move, it's not so bad. He has a lot of trouble dealing with us. No, I want to hit the dish, damn it. Okay, that's not working. Oh, sorry, that's my unlock stick. Right. Uh, check. Okay. If I come over this way, I might be able to hit it a bit easier. We want the dish! We want the dish, damn it! We don't have to fire this damn thing manually at this rate. There, perfect. Okay, need to move again. Oops. Okay, we've almost got the first bit done. That's not been so bad. Right. For such an advanced tank, it has a lot of trouble dealing with the. Uh, Okay. Please stop hitting the thing I don't want to hit. I want to hit. There we go. Get that dish out. I don't think we're done, though. No, Snake. Now he just can't see.
She's hell-bent on taking revenge for you. Naomi. You're the only one who can stop her. No, I can't. Why? Because I'm the one who killed her parents. I was young then, and couldn't bring myself to kill her, too. Oh, I felt so bad that I decided to take her with me. I raised her like she was my own blood, to soothe my guilty conscience. Even now, she thinks of me as her brother. Fox. Outwardly, we may have seemed like contented brother and sister. But every time I looked into her eyes, I trembled with fear. Tell her for me. Tell her that I was the one who did it. Oh. 
impressive. You are indeed worthy of the code name Fox. But now you're finished. Now fire the stinger, Fox. Can you really shoot? You'll kill him too. Now, in front of you, I can finally die. It's no good. I can't do it. After Zanzibar land, I was taken from the battle. Neither truly alive, nor truly dead. An undying shadow in a world of light. But soon, soon it will finally end. of the government or anyone else fighting was the only thing the only thing I was good at but at least uh, I always fought for what I believed in snake is entreated. The battle is decided. You see, you can't protect anyone. Not even yourself. How cool is all that? Oh man, I love that scene. Alright, well, let's not get blown up. There you are! I don't think we need to do this in the same way anymore. I can't quite remember, either way. There you are! Okay, that means ah! We just need to get liquid in the face more than anything. If you listen out for the explosions, not so bad. And with the chaff, you can't do a lot. Oh, I can move. Ready, set, go! Okay, with the chaff, you can aim for me anyway. Okay. Farewell, liquid, you turd. Crush you into dust! After all that, are you telling me that's what conks him out? Also, die already! Jesus! You're a jerk. You blew up my friend. You stomped on him, you squished him, and then you still won't die. Sleeping late as usual, eh, Snake? Liquid. You're still alive. Seriously. I won't die. 
As long as you still live. Too bad. It looks like your revolution was a failure. Just because you've destroyed Metal Gear doesn't mean I'm done fighting. Fighting? What are you really after? The restoration of the era when warriors such as us lived as we should. That was Big Boss's fantasy. It was his dying wish. When he was young, during the Cold War, the world needed men like us. We were valued then. We were desired. But things are different now. With all the liars and hypocrites running the world, war isn't what it used to be. We're losing our place in a world that no longer needs us. A world that now spurns our very existence. You should know that as well as I do. After I launch this weapon and get our billion dollars, we'll be able to bring chaos and honor back to this world gone soft. Conflict shall breed conflict, new hatreds will arise, and our own biosphere shall steadily expand. But as long as there are people, there will always be war. But the problem is balance. Father knew what type of a balance was best. Is that the only reason? Isn't that reason enough for warriors such as us? I don't want that kind of world. Ha! You lie! So why are you here then? Why do you continue to follow your orders while your superiors betray you? Why did you come here? Well, I'll tell you then. You enjoy all the killing, that's why. What? Are you denying it? Haven't you already killed most of my comrades? That was... <laughs> I, I watched your face as you delivered the coup de grace. Oh, it reflected such vitality. You're wrong! There is a killer inside you. You don't have to deny it. We were created to be that way. Created? Les enfants terribles. The terrible children. That's what the project was called. It started in the 1970s. Their plan was to artificially create the most powerful soldier possible. The person that they chose as the model was a man known then as the greatest living soldier in the world. Big Boss. But Father was wounded in combat and already in a coma when they brought him in. So they created us from his cells. With a combination of 20th century analog cloning and the Super Baby Method. Super Baby Method? They fertilized an egg with one of father's cells, and then let it divide into eight clone babies. Then they transferred the clones to someone's uterus, and later intentionally aborted six of the fetuses to encourage strong fetal growth. You and I were originally octuplets. Octuplets? Yes. The other six of our brothers were sacrificed to make us. We were accomplices in murder before the day we were even born. So, it was you and I. Two fertilized eggs with exactly the same DNA. But they weren't finished yet. They used me as a guinea pig to create a phenotype in which all of the dominant genes were expressed to create you. I got all the recessive genes. You took everything from me before I was even born. But you and I aren't his only children. What? The genome soldiers. They too are his progeny, carrying on his genetic legacy. But unlike us, they carry it digitally. 
With the completion of the Human Genome Project in the last century, the mysteries of humanity were laid bare. Thanks to father's DNA, they were able to identify more than 60 soldier genes responsible for everything from strategic thinking to the proverbial killer instinct. Those soldier genes were transplanted using gene therapy into the members of the next generation special forces. That's how they became the genome soldiers. That's right. The genome soldiers that you've been killing right and left are our brothers with the same genes as ours. The genome soldiers? They are misshapen creatures, artificially produced from father's genetic pattern. They are our blood brothers, and they were born of many an ultimate sacrifice. Sacrifices? Human experiments. Huh? 1991. The Gulf War. The military secretly injected soldiers with the soldier genes. The Gulf War syndrome that hundreds of thousands of returning soldiers complained about was a side effect of it. Ha! Everyone knows that the Gulf War Syndrome was caused by exposure to pesticides and radiation from depleted uranium rounds. <laughs> that was just a cover story issued by the Pentagon. First, they tried to say it was post-traumatic stress disorder, then chemical or biological weapons. The poison gas detection units and anti-sarin injections all just to cover up the secret genetic experiments. So then, the so-called Gulf War babies that have been reported by Gulf War veterans are... Yes, they too are our brothers and sisters. So the genome soldiers mean that the experiments were a success? Success? Don't be a fool. They're a complete failure. We're on the verge of extinction. What? Have you ever heard of the asymmetry theory? Nature tends to favor asymmetry. Those species which have gone extinct all show signs of symmetry. The genome soldiers suffer from the same problem, signs of symmetry. So do I, as do you. That's right. We are all on the verge of death at the genetic level. We don't know when or what type of disease will occur. That's why we need the old man's genetic information. You want Big Boss's DNA so you can save your family? It's very touching. <laughs> In nature, family members don't mate with each other, and yet they help each other to survive. Do you know why? because it increases the chances that shared genes will be transmitted to future generations. Altruism among blood relatives is a response to natural selection. That we will help our blood relatives is inscribed in our very genes. You're telling me that your genes are ordering you to save the genome soldiers? You can't fight your genes. It's fate. All living things are born for the sole purpose of passing on their parents' genes. That's why I'll follow what my genes tell me. And then, I'm going to go beyond, in order to break the curse of my heritage. And to do that, first, I will kill you. Look behind you. Meryl? Is she alive? Hmm. I'm not sure. She was alive a few hours ago. Poor girl kept calling your name. Meryl? Stupid woman. 
falling in love with a man who doesn't even have a name? I have a name. No. We have no past, no future. If we did, our fate is nothing but what is determined in the genes we inherited from our father. Let Meryl go. As soon as we finished our business, we're almost out of time. You're talking about Fox Die. No. It seems now that the Pentagon knows that Metal Gear is destroyed. They've arrived at a decision. They won't even need a BDA. If you want the details, why don't you ask your precious Colonel Campbell? Colonel, can you hear me? Yes, I'm listening. What is the Pentagon trying to do? Colonel, answer me! The Secretary of Defense has taken over active control of this operation. He's on his way there by AWACS. What for? To bomb the place. What? Not only that, B-2 bombers just lifted off from Galena Air Force Base. They're carrying B-6113 surface-piercing tactical nuclear bombs. What? Metal Gear is destroyed. Tell the Secretary of Defense. The Secretary of Defense heard that Naomi double-crossed us, and he's worried about Fox Die. Now that there's no more danger of a nuclear strike from Metal Gear, he's going to do whatever's necessary to cover up the truth of what really happened here. He's going to drop a nuclear bomb to vaporize all the evidence, along with anyone who knows anything. Don't worry, Snake. I'll stop the nuclear strike. How? I may be only a figurehead here, but I'm still officially in command of this mission. If I issue an order to delay the strike, it'll confuse the chain of command and at least buy you some time. It'll give you a chance to escape. But, Colonel, if you do that... It's okay, Snake. The truth is, Foxhound was already the subject of an undercover investigation. Merrill was transferred to this base just before the terrorist attack as a way of manipulating me. Those bastards. I'm sorry. They forced me to cooperate in exchange for her life. You'd better get out of there, Snake. Are you sure? It'll be bad for you. Don't worry. It's the least I can do for you after all the lies. Colonel. I'm ordering them to cancel the bombing run. After that, there's no turning back. Huh? What are you doing? Snake! Mei Ling, what happened to the Colonel? I don't believe it. What happened? Snake, the Colonel! Roy Campbell has been relieved of duty. This is the Secretary of Defense, Jim Hausman. Put the Colonel back on. He's been placed under arrest for leaking top-secret information and for the crime of high treason. Ridiculous. Yes, he is a ridiculous man. He truly believed that he was in command of this operation. You bastard. There won't be a speck of evidence left. I'm sure the President would want the same thing. The President ordered this? The President is a busy man. I have complete authority here. How do you plan on explaining a nuclear attack on Alaska to the media? Don't worry. We've prepared a convincing cover story. We'll simply say that the terrorists exploded a nuclear device. Damn it! You'll be murdering everyone here. The scientists, the genome army, everyone. Donald, the DARPA chief is already dead. So you didn't mean to kill the DARPA chief after all. He was my friend. And you could care less about what happens to everybody else, huh? Well, if you give me the optic disc, I might consider saving them. What are you talking about? Metal Gear's test data. Donald was supposed to bring it back. I don't have it. I see. Oh, well, that's okay. You two are an embarrassment from the 1970s. Our country's dirty little secret. You can't be allowed to live. You're just the lingering ghosts of a system that is no more. Well, do try to get along in the time you have left before the bomb. <laughs> oh, there's no way out for us. Let's finish this before the airstrike. 
You stole everything from me. I shall nullify you and your genes, and I will take them all back. She'll make a beautiful sacrifice for our final battle. Do you see this? This will be the time limit for our final battle. When death comes for this girl, this nuclear module shall vanish from this world as well. If you win, you might still be able to save her. You could enjoy one brief moment of love before the end. And if you cross this line, you'll fall. At this height, it'll kill even you. Snake. Ordinarily, I'd say this is a great time to put an end to the evil liquid snake. But it's not this time. That'll be for next time. Thank you so much for watching. Next time, fisticuffs and an escape. Till then, bye-bye. Danke, Snake!